Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Dave Bitter, front-end developer at Frontman, and today I have another Friday tip for you. We're going to have a short look at GitHub template repositories, uh, what they are and uh, how you can work with them. So if you're like me, you probably have a lot of side projects where you don't want to set up a development environment every time, but you just want to get started with your creative idea. Uh, well, to do that, uh, I used to well, copy files back and forth from all their projects uh, and then delete what I don't want to into a new repository. Uh, and that was a bit cumbersome, of course, so I made a boilerplate. But the downside of having a boilerplate uh, in a normal repository is that you have an entire Git history and things like that. So what I just wanted was a simple way to get my boilerplate code into a new, fresh repository. Well, luckily the people over at GitHub noticed the same problem for people and they created something called the template repositories. So let's have a quick look uh, at the boilerplate and how we can turn it into one of these templates. So this is an example repository where I uh, added my boilerplate uh, and this boilerplate has a bunch of configuration uh, for things like a storybook, but it also has some test runners uh, with Jest and Enzyme, uh, some linting, Husky, all that type of things. Uh, even easy uh, meta information for SEO, uh, progressive web app. So quite a bit of code that you want to maybe reuse in all these side projects. Uh, you don't want to code every time. So let's have a short look at how we can do it. If we head over to the settings tab, we can see that we have this checkbox here, which has template repository. And if I click that, uh, it turned into a template repository. Uh, that was easy. So let's have a look at what this exactly does now. At the top right, uh, we have a new button called use this template. And if we click it, we can uh, create a new project based on this template. So let's say we want to create Tinder for cats, uh, we add our name, uh, say whether you want to have it public or private, of course, and we have the option to include all the branches. So you might want to do this uh, if, you, if you have a reason for it. Uh, so now we create this from a template. And you can see GitHub is generating it uh, for us in a new repository. Um, and there we have it. So all the files that I just uh, showed are here, uh, as well as all the documentation, of course. And you can see that uh, there's only one commit uh, and just now. So it's truly a completely fresh repository. And at the top right, uh, you can also see that uh, it got generated from uh, this example template. Cool. So what happens if we want to update our template repository and then these are out of sync, of course. Uh, just like normal, you would add the remote of that template repository to this Tinder for Cats repo uh, and then rebase uh, your changes on top of it to get the latest version. And there we have it. So it's this super simple feature that GitHub offers, uh, but it's uh, truly valuable for uh, people who want to do exactly this. So the next time you don't have to uh, create a fork or uh, copy a bunch of files around. And that's all for today. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.